Hello friends, today I am going to show you the basic setup of TIG welding. TIG welding is also known as gas congestion arc welding, GTAW. So TIG welding is also known as GTAW or it is also called as TIG welding. Sometimes it is also referred as heli arc welding. Heli arc welding. This name uh, has arrived from heli, heli is uh, for helium and arc, heli arc welding. So in TIG welding, uh, basically we require a welding machine our power source so this is our power source uh, 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 electro tor torch filler wire this is our uh, congestion electrode first i will show you the uh, machine so in our machine we have uh, this switch this switch is for local or remote uh, if we are using remote control then uh, we can uh, turn on this switch for remote control and uh, if you don't don't require rem uh, remote control then we can turn off this machine we have uh, 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 displays for uh, current and volt these two displays are for current and volts this current and volts can be uh, regulated by using these knobs and again we have uh, mmaw and tick so in machine we can uh, carry out both the weldings mig and tick both if we have to carry out uh, mig welding then our switch will be like this and if we have to carry out TIG welding then we can press this knob like this so this is for TIG or MIG option means this machine can be used for MIG as well as for TIG and here again we have on VRD off and VRD on uh, switch this VRD is voltage regulate uh, regulating device this is for voltage regulating device suppose you have to regulate the voltage then we can use this uh, socket also so this is our basic uh, uh, power source and uh, in addition to this power source we need one gas also uh, shielding gas gas uh, it is called as shielding gas shielding gas is used for uh, used to protect our weld puddle the molten weld puddle shall be uh, should be protected from the atmosphere so to protect that molten weld puddle we need shielding gas i show you the shielding gas also so friend this is our shielding gas uh, we are using argon for shielding uh, for shielding we can use uh, carbon dioxide or helium also depending on uh, depending upon our job requirements here we are using argon gas and this is your flow meter this uh, flow meter shows the uh, shows the flow of the gas uh, in lpm liters per minute so this is your flow, flow meter and this is your pressure gauge this shows the uh, outside uh, output pressure of the gas so this is your shielding gas so friends you have seen the shielding gas and our power source now you show you the torch the welding torch in uh, gtaw uh, this uh, welding torch is used and uh, see gt in gtaw a non consumable electrode is used a non consumable electrode is used tungsten that is also tungsten so this is a non consumable tungsten electrode we use tungsten electrode just because of its highest high melting point it has very high melting point that's why that's why we use non consumable tungsten electrode the electrodes are also color coded so these are tungsten electrodes these are tungsten electrodes and we use a filler filler wire or filler rod also I show you the uh, torch. So in GTAW, this uh, this is called as nozzle or uh, uh, this uh, this is called as nozzle. It's a ceramic uh, nozzle or cap. It's a ceramic cap. So now I will show you the torch. This is our tungsten electrode, and this uh, tungsten electrode is fitted into this uh, device. This is called as collet. This is called as collet, and you can see some slots in the collet. Maybe you will not be able to see in this camera. So some slots has been made in this collet. This slots has been made to compress and grab this electrode. To call this, this gets compressed and grab these electrodes. That's why this slot is made. 
and this is your uh, collet head a tungsten a tungsten electrode collet collet head this torch body this is our end cap and nozzle so friends you have seen the basic parts of our uh, torch so in uh, gtaw we use this tungsten electrode to melt the uh, work piece and we use a uh, additional filler wire additional filler wire to uh, for welding purpose so this is this these are the basic setups of uh, of uh, tig welding and one more thing i'll show you the remote control also this socket is used for remote control so if we are welding at a distant place uh, far from the welding machine then we can use this uh, remote control and this current can be adjusted by using this knob so i hope this uh, setup is clear to you thank you very much